So somebody asked me to do explain how I use my GPX viewer and my Google Maps on my Alps trip, so I'm going to show you. First, let's start off by how I made my routes in Google. Start off my hotel, awesome hotel. If you're ever going to be outside Bolzano, this is the place to stay. I pick it as my source location. That's where I'm going to start from. I'm then going to flip it around because I want my uh, hotel to be the first thing in the list. Um, that's my starting point. Then I'm going to go pick the pass I want to go over. That was my next one. But it looks like the route's accurate. Never drag a route to a different location. If it's not going where you want it to go, pick a different spot. But I notice that this one doesn't actually end in a location. So I'm going to click on the location, delete it. I'm going to make sure it's still selected up here before I click. Otherwise, I'll lose everything I'm doing. I'm going to pick an actual spot on the road. Here we go. Now I'm going to add my second destination my next pass off the list I'm gonna look at my route again it looks accurate if it wasn't I'd put in a new destination halfway between to force it on the roads I want I don't ever drag and drop because it won't convert properly I'm gonna delete that spot pick a new one that's actually on the road and I'm gonna put in my next one And let's take a look at this one. That looks like the right road from what I know of the area, which is not a lot. And it is actually on the road, so I'm good there. I'm gonna stick in my next pass. There we go. Let's take a look at that. Looks like the right road. There was nothing actually a way to get over it other than that. And again, this one is not on the road, so I'm gonna delete it. Got to click on it again, make sure that little cursor is flashing up there in the, in the box before I click. Otherwise, it's just going to erase everything you have and put that spot as your starting point. And I'm going to put the hotel in at the end. And it looks like it's taken the same way out that I came in. That's awesome. But what if I wanted to take a different route in? I don't want to drag the route to one of these other roads. Um, dragging the route uh, will not allow it to convert properly. Also, what will happen is when you open it up in your uh, phone in Google Maps, it's going to pick a different route because it won't know you, you did the drag and the drop. So I'm going to add a new destination right after the hotel. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to pick a spot on that road. And lo and behold, when it recalculates the route, everything looks great. The key is to make sure that Google recalculates the route the way you want it. If it doesn't, add in new destinations in between two waypoints to get it to go the right route. Again, I think you're limited to 12 destinations in Google Maps, so you, you either have to split it up if you have more than that or be a little more careful on how you, where you put your waypoints. Next, I'm going to go into this Map to GPX program I found. It's an online website. You just paste in the URL from Google and it downloads a GPX. Drag that to my desktop, so now I have my GPX. And I use Dropbox. Whatever you use to get it on your phone, go ahead and use it. I'm going to go into my travel folder. This is where I normally keep all my routes for my Alps trip, but I'm just going to ahead and drag it into the travel folder itself and, and leave it there. I am also then going to put the Google Map URL. You can drag it to your desktop and uh, put that on my phone as well. You can just copy and paste that or drag it to your desktop. I have had issues where when you create, when you drag it to your desktop, it doesn't work right. So that's an issue. Uh, a lot of times I will just text to myself the route. Now here what I'm doing is something that I think everybody should do. Pull up your route and drag the little man onto it and take a peek around. Street view is available in most countries. I don't think Germany is, but um, it allows you to make sure that this little white line I, I tossed this on is not a dirt road or something a little less useful. Uh, I can also find places to stop, areas that look interesting, best way to go around and see what you're going to be getting when you finally get to your route. In this case, we'll take a look at this one pass, which I thought was a great pass. And I can go ahead and navigate up the road as well, take a look, see whether or not this seems to be a great place. You can put a waypoint here and mark it as coffee. You know, I don't use a lot of waypoints. Uh, you could if you want to mark things like where to get gas ahead of time and such. If you're that type of a planner, I'm not, but that's basically what I like to do is take a peek around and see what it looks like. 
Now, the next thing is I want to go onto my phone and I'm going to go ahead and open up my Dropbox and go into my travel folder. And I'm going to click on the URL that I dragged from my desktop into Dropbox. And lo and behold, it's only got one stop. I haven't found a way around this. For some reason, it works on your desktop, but when I move it to the phone, it doesn't. So what I do is I text it to myself. And as you see, if I click on the URL in the text or email or however else you want to cut and paste the actual URL, life looks awesome. So now I know that my map is correct. I'm now going to go into my Dropbox and I'm going to open up my GPX file that I had, which is tied to the program that I prefer to use. And it's because it's the only one I've used, uh, GPX Viewer Pro. And so since it's a GPX file, this is the default app for it. And there is my route. It looks correct, but whoa, back I go to Portland because I have my follow GPS on. That's generally going to be on when you're using the program so that the map follows you. But in this case, since I'm not in Italy anymore, it doesn't really help for this demonstration. So we take a look at our location here. Everything looks great. I don't have any issues with it. It seems to map match what was in Google, which is great. I'm going to pick what I want, how I want to look. And then I'm going to hit the bottom button on the bottom left, which will open up my tiles. I can click on the little circle on top of the app and click open in multi view. And I can do the same for the next one. I know that went by really quick, but uh, that's basically how it works. And now I can resize the windows by dragging that middle bar to pick how much I want on the top app, how much I want on the bottom app. I can go ahead and resize it back a little bit smaller because I'd like a little more room on my Google Maps. I use the GPX just to make sure that I'm following the route in which I said I did because Google will recalculate. If I decide to take an excursion somewhere, Google will get me back on my route automatically, which is great. But then I'll always know by using my GPX Viewer Pro, which is also offline completely, that uh, I'm on the right spot. And then I'm going to turn on my follow GPS again. Uh, otherwise, it I will not move with the map as I drive and I won't be following the blue line anymore. As for down below, I'm not in Italy, so I only have a preview option, but normally I would have a go or start and it would begin my Google Maps and direct me in the right way.